Ruslan Albergov, 2.03. His body's start weight down by two kilograms. But this still is an enormous weight. There's only three men left in the competition. He's the reigning world champion. Oh, <laughs> nearly caught it on the way down. <laughs> Strong enough to lower it as well. <laughs> the weight is 203. Well, I mean, that's obviously a weight he can do. And uh, uh, he's under a lot of pressure here, of course. Last year when he won the world championship, some said it was a, a soft year with no Salimi. The uh, big Iranian didn't turn up. He fell out with his coach and uh, pulled out well rounded back off the floor that's going to pull him forwards the first thing we teach Moment beginners is to keep a nice maybe just the pressure's getting to them albergov 205 he's upped it despite missing that opener Well, that might be why his teammate was running out onto the platform. Assuming maybe he might have a bit longer recovery. But Albogov has nailed it. He's in the competition. Well, Alexei Lovchev sounds like he's going to go for 205 again. Albogov is personal best, 210. Elbows are so vulnerable. Little Stami there. Looks like he's coaching Salami. Rostami was the gold medalist from the men's 85 kilo category just a few days ago. Yeah, they're training partners and friends. And, uh, of course, Hussein Razazadeh behind him there, former Olympic champion, shouts on uh, this man, the reigning Olympic champion, the world record holder in the snatch, 2.06 to start his account. Sticks it, stands up with ease, and uh, he did 210 six weeks ago. <laughs> well, it looks easier than that at the Asian Championships, then stuck 215 on just to have a bit of fun and go for the world record. And he wasn't far away. So will Bedad Salimi pull it off today? He's six foot six. He's two meters tall. He's the tallest man here. And uh, that's not normally a recipe for good snatching, but somehow he overcomes it with just raw power. Raw power and really good technique. He's powerful. He's so Russian hopes now on this man. Luckily for them, he got 205 in on his second attempt. So he ups his game to 210. Hopefully he's got his head in this competition. He's got a clean and jerk best of 255. Almost exactly the same as Salimi. Third and final attempt, and it's a good one. Can he hold it? Yes, he can. 2-10. So, Salimi, Bedad Salimi of Iran has two replies now to come out. And uh, what's your best guess, Mikhaila? Go 2-11 and then go for a world record, something like that? Yeah, sounds like a sensible call to me. They would obviously like to take all of the gold medals. That's the weight that's been posted, so it looks like he is going to come out 2-11. But Albogov, that, that, that is a phenomenal lift. Having missed his first, he's then succeeded with 205, 210, equal personal best that he did back in 2012. So good to see him back in world class and best form at these world championships. Yes, uh, Albogov, 210. People said he struggles with pressure, but that was superb. Now, 211. Salimi needs the extra kilo. He's the heavier man if he's going to win the snatch. And then he'll have one lift left to perhaps go for a world record. Well, the pressure gets to him, and uh, he was not close at all there. 
Well, it's a difficult position for Alpagov to be in. Sat there watching and waiting. He's obviously going to hope that Salami fails again. But if we just watch this, mistimed it slightly. Really hanging on at the top rather than dropping under that bit quicker. The change in direction up and under has got to be lightning quick. It's too much of a hesitation at the top before he goes. He's trying to pull the bar that bit higher. Well, he's capable. There's not going to be a world record attempt here today on the snatch. Can he come out and nail that 2.11 to take gold away from Albergov? Yes, he's four kilos back at the moment. And then uh, a long way back to third place. Because, of course, uh, the other Russian, Alexei Lovchev, has bombed here. So this would be a huge surprise from uh, seeing Albergov come out first and miss his first snatch at 2.05. And of course, Salimi and Lovchev, now well, they've got a real go out there and nail it reputation. You would expect it, uh, this story to have gone totally differently. Now it's Salimi under the pressure, and Lovchev is out. And uh, suddenly, Ruslan Albergov is in the driving seat. We have just one lift left here in this super heavyweight snatch competition. He's getting fanned down there by Hussein Razazadeh. The man whose world record he took to push it up. Just all the way up to 2.14 in November 2011. There's Razazadeh. To go ahead by one kilogram ahead of the Russian. Final lift. Oh, went off to the oh. side. That was messy, wasn't it? It was. Gold to Russia on the snatch. Who would yes. have thought? Ruslan Albergov, third of the Olympic Games, comes out, having been under massive pressure, missing 203 in the opener. The only one of these men to actually pull his starting lift down. So things weren't feeling great in the warm-up area, but he ends up with 210. And, well, he did 209, 255 last year at the World Championships, Ruslan Albergov for a 4-6-4 total and this is his chance to show the world he is the true world champion with Salach Ruslan Albergov of Russia failed the 203 and hit 205 and 210 to lead Salimi okay, into this clean and jerk by four kilos so sensibly not pushing it too high at the start here come out and get 245 go into the lead and it would virtually guarantee himself a silver or gold in terms of the overall. It's a lifter in complete control. Very comfortable, very good, technically proficient. Conserving as much energy as possible. Still two attempts remaining. The leader after the snatch is now the leader overall. And uh, 255 is personal best. 245 went up without a problem. And he looks so much more relaxed than the man who stepped off stage after that snatch miss at 203. Really solid jerk. 455, he is. 19 kilograms ahead of second place and of course Lovchev who will be joining the cleaner jerk can't get a total so he, he but at Salimi 246 is what he's going for and that will put him one kilo ahead of the two Russians in the first in the clean and jerk but in terms of overall he'd only be in second So strong. More, more of an effort on the jerk. He just got the down signal. Feet were barely in line. Clean was super easy. The jerk, questionable. Asian Championships, he comes out and snatches 210. 
Makes a good effort at the world record at 2.15, then does 2.55 for a second lift to the clean and jerk. Says, that's it. I've had enough. I've already beaten everyone by 40 kilos. That's six weeks ago. And did he just peak too early? Well, to ask a lifter at senior level to... Well, Salimi had to up his post at 2.50 to 2.51, of course, to stay ahead of Lobchev. He's the heavier man. Lobchev only 139 kilos. I say only because Salimi's 171. You can see how close the collars are now to the end of the bar. The loaders are not risking the weights sliding off. So they're putting the small weights back on the inside of the collar. So this will put him into first overall and into first in the clean and jerk. His front leg oh, it does well to get back under That's well really recovered he... indeed goodness and uh, the Iranian fans there went silent for a split second I thought uh, a big wobble was coming on but uh, he's nailed it and is he worth much more he's in the lead now Albergoff of course has two attempts left thinking in terms of the overall because that's who the true world champion is and uh, is there much more there? I'm not sure there is. Well, if Albergov can succeed with a 2-5-2, which is the weight that he's going to be coming out for next, surely this will put it out of Salami's reach on a final attempt. This is an important lift for Albergov. This will pretty much secure him the title with only one lifter having one attempt remaining. He does this. Yeah, Salimi would have to go up to... Uh, Best part of 260, 257 anyway. And cleans it with ease. Ooh, forward, can he save it? Oh no, a little shaky there and uh, nearly went over on his ankle. 252, a little bit of a surprise that. Did he rush the jerk? Well, the clean was so, so strong. I'd like to see the jerk from the side. Guessing he dropped his chest fractionally, pushed himself away from it. Good clean, time that to perfection. Very, very strong legs to stand. Here we go. Tips straight, just pushes himself backwards. Hips only slightly behind the shoulders. Only slightly. And you see the way he gets the whip on the bar. It's so heavy with all these plates on either end. Just a little drop and then uh, Shoving it back up as uh, the current standings for the clean and jerk. 2.51 for Salimi. He's ahead of Lovchev, who's on 2.50. And, of course, Albergov, he's only on 2.45. So right now, Albergov, this would be all confused. Albergov won the snatch and uh, sits down in fourth in the clean and jerk, second in the total. And it's uh, Salimi who is leading the total would be quite a turnaround two kilograms ahead of Albergov and of course Masood the Egyptian he's way way back from those two Lovchev does not record a total having bombed in the snatch and I bet he wish he started just a little bit lower than the 205 entry that he did 203 and built it up 202 he was so close well right now it's all down to Ruslan Albergov to Pull this off for the Russians to win the world title overall. He needs this lift to take him ahead of Salimi back on top. He needs it to get a medal of any color in the clean and jerk. He's in fourth. Mark CM, the Estonians ahead of him. That's better. He's not going to make the same mistake again. He's right up there now. Gold on the clean and jerk. Gold overall. There's only one lifter that can take the overall gold away from him, and that's Salimi. Salimi. Yes, he's got uh, Salimi's got one lift left, and uh, he's going to go for it. Of course, he is. He's the Olympic champion, two times world champion, and uh, Ruslan Albergov. He's right now got first places across the board. He's done all he can do. He hit the 2-5-2 after a great deal of pressure. His total, 
462. The lead total, Salimi, 457. So five kilos between them. We know Salimi's heavier, so he needs six kilos to beat him. So six kilos up on his previous 251. He needs 257. Salimi's personal best, 255. So he's going to have to pull something out of the bank. And it just doesn't look like Salimi's got what it takes today. But you never know. Ruslan Albergov, has he retained his world title? He did it when this man is Salimi, the Olympic champion. He not become Olympic champion two times, world champion for nothing. He has what it takes. But it's a big increase, six kilos more. To move him from second overall become three times world champion. And it's gone. It's gone, I'm afraid. There is your two times world champion, now Ruslan Albergov. And uh, the Russians have done it in the women's and the men's supers not quite as comfortable in the men's and yes salimi a true hero back in iran and indeed to uh, weightlifting fans worldwide couldn't quite pull it off today he needed a personal best in the clean and jerk to do it so he'll have to settle for 251 in the clean and jerk. That's third place there, bronze, and a silver in the overall. Third place overall, Mohammed Massoud of Egypt. Courtesy of Lovchev bombing out in the snatch. And of course, Lovchev, the gold in the clean and jerk. And well, how close was he? Well, the bar was there, just not quite in the right position underneath. See how close he is now. Oh. Doesn't get much closer. I don't think it was quite at arm's length. Just needed another centimetre. But it was a tremendous effort. Of course, he's going to be disappointed. He came here for gold. But he finishes with silver. Albergov, the champion. That's massive man, Ruslan Albergov. He almost looks short from a distance. He's so chunky, but that's because he's nearly 160 kilos in body weight. And he pops three out of three overhead in the end and well done to him he is the man in the total 462 kilos further on down the uh, clean and jerk results well Alexania never came out I'm afraid gold to Lovchev Albergov the silver Salimi gets the bronze in the clean and jerk and when you talk about who was world champion it's all about the total World champion of 2014, Ruslan Albergov again, he retained it. Salimi five kilos back and then uh, uh, 